Hello and good day. This is Jabet Claudia from uh, MetaMind Technologies. Um, this is a video tutorial about the, um, the Daydreamer Psionic Helmet. Um, you will have to forgive me. Uh, I had to use the um, dining table because my my uh, workshop table and my my uh, office table are both too cluttered. I can't uh, I can't use this, and I have to uh, I have to do this video rather uh, quickly because I'm I'm supposed to ship this uh, very soon, if not tomorrow. Anyway. <coughs> Um, so this is the uh, day, uh, Daydreamer, the MetaMind Daydreamer Psionic Helmet. Um, it's one of the uh, faster selling products of MetaMind um, and, uh, and uh, for good reason, I guess, because it's uh, priced relatively affordable or, or it's within reach. Um, takes a while to, to uh, do something of the sort uh, to assemble one of these uh, takes about about a week or two anyway um, let's run through the basic features of the MetaMind uh, Daydreamer Psionic Helmet <clears throat> so basically uh, this helmet is uh, it's basically a combination of two devices it's a combination of a Cosimano 3 dial box and the Cosimano uh, Psionic Amplifier Helmet. Okay, so uh, we put those two things into one device and then um, we added some more features so that, uh, you know. So uh, it comes with its own rate dials. It comes with a detachable stick pad, which you will uh, in, use, this, use this for tuning the device and then you can, you can remove it, all right? Um, it's got a five mode pulser, five mode pulser. It has an interface to a radionic box in case you want to follow the um, prescribed method of uh, Charles Cosimano. Um, that, that you plug that into a radionic box, okay? And then tune from there. So you can do that also uh, with this. It is uh, powered by a five volt rechargeable battery. Um, so you plug it in to charge. Uh, you don't need power to operate it, okay? And then this is the um, power switch. Okay. Um, this jack over here is uh, where you plug your stick pad while you're tuning the device. And um, the usual, uh, it's got this folding uh, antenna, okay? So if you want to follow the Cosimano method uh, of aligning to true north, just bend it, okay? But if you feel uh, crazy, you can extend it, okay? You can extend it and, uh, you know, it's, it sends a signal to yourself that you're broadcasting. Okay, so either way, you can use it either way. All right, so um, how do you use this device? Okay, or what is it for? For one, um, it will affect, uh, it can improve anything that has to do with psychic abilities. Okay, because um, uh, it can help you go into altered states it can it can help you remote view it can help you manifest it can help you um you know read people's minds or see through their eyes uh if you want a little story uh, the first time i the first time i saw that uh, psionic amplifier helmet in uh, charles cosimano's book uh, psychic power uh, I was uh, I was a skeptic. I, uh, I am an engineer by profession, especially at the time. Um, so I made one just because I didn't believe it. So I uh, I made one. And then my roommate, who is also an engineer, said, 
what's that? Well, apparently it's a device that's uh, that's supposed to let me read people's minds or increase my psychic abilities. And he said, so, steer, I mean, come on, baloney. Uh, well, I, I could perfectly understand. He was also an engineer, a man of science. So these things are, uh, these things are, you know, foreign to him. So what I did was, okay, let's do this. Let's let's uh, do an experiment. I'll uh, I'll try to see through your eyes tonight. Okay, wherever you're going, and he was going out. So he said, "All right, what do you need?" Well, the book says uh, I need a picture of you, at the very least, no older than seven years, seven years old. Okay, I got that. So he gave me a, he gave me his picture, and then um, uh, okay, tonight I won't tell you what time I'll be looking. Okay, so at about uh, ten o'clock that night, it was, uh, it was 1997, if I believe so, or 96. Um, I hooked up uh, the Cosimano helmet, and then I uh, I uh, did the experiment. I tuned I tuned the helmet into my friend, and then I got the uh, impression. I got my visions, and then I removed it, and then I went to sleep. So when he came in the next day, he said, "Ah, oh, so what did you see?" And I said, um, "Well, you were in a car. There was." a woman beside you with long hair. There was a man driving and there was another woman beside him. Of course, you were in the dark street. It was night. You know? So the only thing I could see was uh, uh, the street lights going by. You know? And he said, nah, that's baloney. I wasn't in a car. I was in a double cab pickup. Like, come on. I was, I was looking through his eyes. Uh, uh, I couldn't see whether he was in a car or in a pickup. Okay, so... Uh, for me, that that uh, blew it. That was uh, that was a perfect confirmation that psionic amplifier helmets work. Okay, so down the road, down the road, I developed something like this. I made a couple of uh, psionic helmets, and then I learned how to make organite. Made my own blend, made my own configuration, etc., etc. So that's the backstory of how I got into. Um, psionic helmets now uh another uh some other features if you want to look under the hood okay so there's an organite core down there okay so the uh, top of the helmet is filled with uh, organite and it has uh, inside that organite buried in that is the uh, metamine proprietary configuration of coils and whatever what not <clears throat> okay so you got a rechargeable battery and charge controller and then uh, a new fe feature in this uh, this uh, generation is uh, these uh, LEDs which I put on the I put on the uh, visor so these will impinge into the eyes of the user okay it will uh, it will flash Okay, and then um, it will uh, help the user, the user achieve what's known as uh, photonic brainwave stimulation. So that's where your brainwaves, you know, are entrained. Photonic brainwave entrainment. That's where your brainwaves are entrained to uh, stimulus of rhythmic nature. Like, for instance, uh, rith rhythmically flashing lights. Okay. Um, the brain waves will follow the frequency of the light. So it goes from alpha, uh, from beta to alpha, to theta, to delta. Okay, the deeper you go, the deeper the altered state you're in. Okay, I'll show it. I'll show you that uh, in a bit. All right. So let's do the basic um, psionic operations. All right. So um, uh, before I begin, I have to. Uh, Tell the watcher, the the, the viewer, that uh, I highly recommend that you you uh, acquire and read the at least the first book 
of Charles Cosimano. Today it's entitled um, uh, Basic Psionics. Uh, in my time in 1997, it was titled um, Psychic Power. Okay, so now the title is Basic Psionics. Please get that book, um, read it, and then read the sections on on the radionic box and the psionic amplifier helmet. Okay, so read what it can do. Um, it will give you a uh, you know fuller picture, a better background of what this uh, thing can do. So basically, you got. Uh, a three dial box again, psionic amplifier helmet, and then your chakras, your crown, and your um, third eye chakra, your pineal gland chakra, are stimulated by the organite core. So you're getting energy right into your head, right? And then uh, another feature which I almost forgot it's got a small MP3 player. It's got a small mp3 player down there okay and then you insert a uh, or rather i will insert a tf card and the tf card contains uh spells from um filipino folk magic and uh vedic uh, mantras they are going to um increase your psychic abilities the the user psychic abilities and um, since, like, you're, I thought, we're already here, so why not put in intelligence? So uh, increase in intelligence, too. You know? So it has Vedic mantras for um, increasing intelligence. All right. So that's it. No? Uh, it's a tuned device, and then at the same time, it, it uh, sends energy to your head. To your crown and uh, pineal gland chakras okay so those are the basics uh, of the features so how do we use this thing um, like I said please get the book of Charles Cosimano because um, the things you can do with this are you know they can fill a book so it it matters like any psionic uh, device or radionic device. It also depends on the creativity of the user. All right, so let's, you know, let's start with the basics, okay? So you got here a witness clip, okay? Obviously we cannot put a, a we can't uh, put a witness plate on a helmet. So this is me, a picture of me, okay? I can't fit it, so I'll just fold it. And then I will insert it into the witness clip All right so um this uh, space limitations I have to insert it in a way that it will not um, impede the operation of the knobs All right that will do and then um plug in your um stick pad okay All right so, uh, because this, by the way, again, because this thing is both a radionic box, a powered radionic box, and a helmet, you can use it in two ways. You can use it as a standalone um, radionic box. So, for instance, I put in there my picture, okay, and then I start tuning it. So, um, oh, I haven't put in yet the, uh, the rubber feet and... I'll be operating on, um, okay, I got a solution for that. I'll just use my iPad. So it's a, sort of a non-sticker. Uh, all right, and then, just like any stick pad, okay. Uh, this knob here is labeled one, okay. So just, you know, just like in the book of Cosimano, um, you rub this and then you turn um, the number one knob until you get a stick see so I am not changing the pressure of my finger in fact it's very light but because there's already a stick the um, the stick pad you know sticks so it moves okay so um, what I do is that I uh, you know I rub the side of my thumb just to you know the engineer in me still skeptical 
says, oh, maybe it's my skin oils. Okay, so, and I do it again. And I notice that the stick pad is again very slippery. And then I turn the knob gently, number two knob, and then I get a stick. Okay. All right. So, um, yeah, just I'm trust your instincts on this one. And then I rub again. And then put my my hand on the number three knob. And then I start rubbing. Okay. And then gently turn the number three until, whoops, it's very sudden. Um, it's really very sudden. It's like, you know, you just, it's like you get, get to a certain point here and then suddenly, suddenly it becomes uh, not slippery. It becomes rather sticky, okay? So when you have the stick on all three knobs, you now know that, um, you now know that, uh, the circuit is tuned with whatever you put in the witness plate, okay? So from here, from here, if you're going to operate this as a, uh, uh, say, a manifestation machine, I can insert a uh, trend card here. I don't know, there are lots of uh, things you can use as trend cards, um, Chinese prosperity symbols, um, Wells trend cards, uh, and the ones from uh, Malcolm Ray, etc. Now just insert that there. And if you want to operate it as a passive device, just leave it. But the thing is, this is a power device. So just turn it on and rest assured. Well, uh, if you guys are, are uh, psychic or, or you can do muscle testing, um, when you turn on the switch at the back, the light turns on and you know that the organite core is being powered okay it's being powered by several uh, things okay so the organite core is now um pushing energy into your trend so that's one way of using the psionic helmet <clears throat> the other way of using the psionic helmet is uh say for remote viewing just like what i did in 1997 okay um, if I had this device in 1997, what I would do is to just put in there in the witness clip, uh, my friend's, um, picture, I will tune it to him and then I will wear this helmet. Okay. I'll wear this helmet and then, you know, think to myself, relax, close my eyes, think to myself, breathe deeply, um, for about, I don't know, 20 seconds, breathe deeply until I relax. And then, um, and then I'll think of my friend, think of like going inside his head and looking at what he sees, okay? Or thinking what he thinks, okay? So that's one way. Um, your results may vary. I, I will not guarantee that you'll be able to do this but in my experience, I have done it, and I believe that others can, okay, with a little help, with just a little help from, you know, tools. Um, what else? So we use it to mad box to read minds. Um, you can also use it to broadcast, all right? So if you want a certain person to think uh, certain thoughts, okay, you could put in his or her picture. For instance, I wanted to seduce a, a woman, okay? So I put in her picture, I tune it, okay, use some stick plate, I remove this, and then I wear the helmet, and then I, uh, I start to think thoughts, okay? Now, just realize that because you are tuned into her, then you got a broadcasting antenna here, okay? Whatever you're thinking, she will start thinking, especially when she's very receptive, like, um, you know, when she's bored and daydreaming, or, or maybe you can, you can make her dream certain things, okay, like, like what, um, this, what's described in uh, Charles Cosimano's book, okay, or you could maybe watch porn, you can watch porn while wearing this, knowing that your target 
will also be thinking those thoughts. Okay? So those are uh, two ways, again, all right, of using this. Now, um, another way of using this is just for simple meditation. So uh, in which case, just remove uh, whatever witness you have, anything you placed in the witness sample. Okay, set all the knobs to zero. Set all the knobs to zero. Just turn it on. Turn it on and then wear it. And then just meditate. Okay. So uh, that's the thing. Now, um, let's talk about this mode switch over here. Uh, this mode switch... Um, varies the pulsation uh, sent to the core and at the same time it also activates um, it also activates the LEDs in the visor okay so there are about um, five modes here it's uh, controlled by a small computer small M uh, microcontroller unit now these five modes just um, while you're wearing it you'll find one or two that really fits you that uh, you know makes you go into a, a relaxed altered state very quickly so when you're using this you wear the helmet and then just close your eyes just close your eyes and just let the red light mm, penetrate your eyelids okay and uh, this uh, pulsating rhythmic flashing will result in brainwave entrainment photonic brainwave entrainment. All right, so those are the basics of the psionic amplifier helmet. Now, um, I wish I could entertain questions, but that's basically it. So um, you will get a lot more ideas as you read um, other literature such as uh, Cosimano's books because he has a lot of um, applications for psionic helmets like you can also talk to the dead okay and maybe you know receive guidance you can you can in theory I haven't done it before but but you know you can insert a, a sigil of an angel or a demon here you now and establish contact you now so use the sigil and then tune wear the helmet and then you know um, contact will be much easier okay um, uh, communication with angels and demons that it's through sigils that's fairly established so this is just one way of doing that okay um, it, it sort of penetrates the interdimensional layers especially the angels they're they're somewhat harder to talk to because they're, they're, they're living at a, about three, four, five interdimensional planes away from us. Okay, so this sort of cuts through that and suddenly you'll hear them. Well, I do sometimes. You'll hear them clearly. Okay. Um, what else? So if it can contact angels and demons, you imagine just who else you can contact. Uh, you can contact Jin planetary spirits uh, uh, in, in in the case of jinn okay I, I haven't seen any sigils of jinn but what we do have are the names okay so if you're going to contact jinn just wear the helmet set to zero go into an elder state either by yourself or or through the flashing lights and then you have to call their names okay at least three times three times right and then um, you will feel their presence okay you will invariably feel uh, the presence of the jinn okay so um, we're just scratching the surface there are other things that I'm sure this thing is capable of but uh, it might be a too lengthy video um, maybe some other ways to use this um, is a Topics, those are topics for another day. All right, so this ends this uh, video tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope it uh, helps you um, should you 
own this or want to own this. All right? Thank you.